week and uh, it's good for us. Yeah, how good to have uh, Eze back. He's one of the most talented players here. How impressed are you with the, his obvious ability? Of course, um, first of all, I'm always happy when the players are fit and uh, available for the game. And yeah, Epps uh, is a great player for us. Uh, but it's also it's important that uh, Will is back, he's an experienced player, and uh, yeah, that gives us more opportunities in the game. And um, I think Epps cannot win the game for us uh, uh, alone, so he needs all his teammates. But as a team, I think we are in a good shape, uh, we have good confidence. We're really very happy with the week, uh, the training sessions, and um, yeah, it will be important for us, but uh, again, we need all the players uh, to succeed at Tottenham. The news of Mark Gay is not good. Um, knee surgery, out for eight weeks, so um, that's a real blow for you, isn't it? Yes, of course. So Last week I said uh, I hope he can be with us in the training this week, but uh, yeah, his knee reacted in a way we didn't like it, so we had uh, one more uh, one, he visited the doctor one more time, and then they said, "Okay, it's better uh, to have a, have a surgery." And but he's doing well; he's uh, recovering, and yeah, we will support him um, as good as we can. That he's uh, back with us, and, and we'll have uh, some games at the, at the end of the season. You've had a full week of training, um, Oliver, with uh, Palace now, and, and John Texter, the co-owner, was saying that you've taken training to a new level of intensity. Is that is that right? What have you changed in training in Palace? I, yes, uh, we, we we couldn't. Of course, we we have to take care uh, for the players uh, that they are they re ready for the game. The most important uh, fitness level is Saturday, and it will be tomorrow at Tottenham. And uh, yeah, as I said, we have a different uh, days we are training. Yeah, so. The team was used to have off on Sunday and Wednesday. We uh, trained on Sunday, um, recovery of course for the for the starters, uh, and gave them off on Mondays. So we had now four days in a row, uh, but uh, we always uh, looked what they did before and uh, what we want to improve, what we, where we want to increase. But again, um, uh, this is uh, just beginning of uh, of a cooperation from all of us and uh, yeah, the players. Um, again, the players uh, did it very well the whole week, but it's nothing. So we, we I didn't find something new that nobody knows or that nobody does. But of course, we have our ideas and we try try to implement it into the team. Um, it's Tottenham next, and you may be aware that Palace have a terrible record against Tottenham. They've not won there in the league since 1997, um, and you know what it takes to lose at Tottenham as well as the manager <laughs> of Eintracht Frankfurt. I mean, what are your memories of that match? Oh, yes, it was a, a very intense game, like I remember. So, and we had a great start with Frankfurt, 1-0, very fast. But then, yeah, we could see the quality of Tottenham, and uh, they scored three goals. But at the end, it was uh, close again uh, after the 2-3, and then uh, uh, one one play out for uh, from us. But it's. Of course, I know the the, the terrible uh, record, but you know what happens in the past is. Is not uh, must not have, or, or not always has to be in the future. So we go there and, and just prepare as good as we can, and um, we analyze them. I think we, we, we know where there are opportunities for us, but then it's important to show it uh, in the stadium, to show it uh, on the pitch. But yeah, Tottenham uh, is a very good team. Also has a different. Uh, Way of playing, so I know them uh, with uh, Conte as manager. Now I suppose that Joglu does a great job. There is more offensive playing and, and uh, defending very high, very aggressive way of uh, playing. So that we will have troubles to find solutions. But if we find uh, the spaces, you have a lot of space. The Wolf showed it uh, two weeks ago, and uh, yeah. So we go there with confidence and we go there to take the three points, although maybe it's time after 27 years. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been compared to Postacoglu. Are there any similarities between you as managers and how much do you admire him as a coach? I think it's the, the most similarities that uh, many... Um, um, Sometimes uh, when I go on vacation, they, they say, where are you from? I say, from Austria. They say, ah, Australia. So uh, maybe this, so it's our home country is very similar. 
Um, but I don't know him, I have a lot of respect and I think we, we managed or uh, coached one player, I had an Australian player in Linz uh, with me and, and he played under Postecoglou the, for the national team of Australia. So at that time we spoke sometimes about uh, Postecoglou and but I don't know him personally but this will change on Saturday. And is it true, did Tottenham speak to you about taking over uh, in the summer when Conte left? Uh, last summer? Yes, oh, I because don't. you were linked with the Tottenham job uh, yeah. in, in the summer. I was linked with so many jobs, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, so, well, last summer, no, I was on vacation. Thank you so much, and good luck on the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. We go to Seb, Premier League. Hi, hello, everyone. Um, how have you enjoyed this first full week of, of training? Uh, do, do, you, have, do you sort of realise that you're manager of a Premier League club? <laughs> the most important thing I could enjoy this week more than the week before that now we start to get a daily routine, you know, to come in the morning, speak about football, speak with the players, speak about uh, what we want to do in training, to analyze our game against Burnley. So the first three days was, I don't know, 90% not football and 10% football. So maybe this week it was 50-50 and the next weeks will be better or better, but it will be more football because this is what I like uh, to talk about football, to, to talk with the players, what they need and, and uh, um, so yeah, this is uh, this I enjoy it most uh, in this week. You've changed certain things in, in training. Is that because you felt it was necessary to, to go up a level in intensity, or do you feel like there was already a, a good standard from the players? You know, it's for me. It's everything we do in training is what we need in the game, and and uh, we cannot demand something from the players in a game when we never did it in training. So everything we do in the training sessions from Tuesday to Friday and, and on, Saturday, uh, on Sunday is what we expect the players to do. So we want to give them confidence to, to support them that they maybe have or have the same situations in the game and they know what to do. And, uh, and so if we want to play very intense, we have to train very intense. So. Um, yeah, this is uh, what we did, and so it's nothing to do with the past. It's just what the picture how we want to play, how we want the players to uh, to play on the pitch. This is what how we train, and uh, so maybe this is different, but it has nothing to do with the past. You were spotted at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium before you were announced here. Is that just because you didn't have a job at the time that you felt it was a good opportunity to do it, or is it something you like to do? quite regularly to go and watch your, your future opponents? So maybe it's one of the biggest advantages of London is you can see many Premier League games here because many clubs are from London uh, uh, and yes, if, if we don't have a game and there is a, an opponent playing at, at home and it's not so far and, and uh, we will play him maybe the next two, three weeks, I will go to the stadium and uh, because I'm a, a guy, I'm a fan, I'm a football fan and if it's, uh, I like to be in, in the stadium and the Tottenham Stadium is a very nice one um, and um, that was the reason. And what did you learn the most that day from watching them play? They lost as well, so... Of course I watched them, I also watched them uh, playing before because I like the way uh, they are playing, the offensive style and, and very aggressive and mm -hmm. I think the, is the, uh, Tottenham is the team after Liverpool or next to Liverpool uh, with the highest uh, pressing situations in in a game. So I like the way uh, they play and uh, but you know, it's always the same. Every strength also has its weaknesses and, and, and yeah, I could see what they do really well and I also could see where maybe they are vulnerable and uh, this is uh, what we try to find tomorrow. And finally, do you feel like your performance against Tottenham will maybe give you more information about where Crystal Palace are at the minute, with no disrespect to Burnley, but if you look at the table, Tottenham are a team that have showed a lot more this season. Do you feel like this could be a, a reference game for you? Every training session, every day, every game gives us uh, information about the players, about uh, uh, where we are, where we want to go. and, and um, I think I mentioned it uh, many times, so you can learn from 
every game you can learn from a win you can learn from a uh, from a defeat um, and uh, of course you can always learn from good teams yeah because uh, the, this challenges you need these challenges yeah when you're always in your comfort zone um, yeah maybe you can you don't increase your uh, your level so I think we it's not possible to win at Tottenham playing in our comfort zone so we will have to reach the edge of our possibilities at the moment and then we will see if it's enough yeah then it's good we're on a good way maybe it's not enough then we know okay we have to improve here we have to improve there and this gives a lot of uh, useful information thank you very much thank you thank you, thank you. Alex from baby sake hi uh, last week we saw a couple of clever short corner set pieces and the team marking uh, zonally from from corners can we expect any more surprises and how have the players adapted to those changes this week? You can expect, but if I tell it, uh, it's no surprise. <laughs> Fair enough. And how, how, have they, uh, how have they adapted to the uh, zonal marking from, from corners? Is it, is it that different? Oh, yeah, of course, there are some differences, but you know, with many experienced players, and, and uh, I don't know, Joe Ward is playing for 10, 15 years, uh, different managers, different way of playing and they always adapted to Joachim Anderson, I don't know, it's his fifth, sixth, seventh club. So he had different managers, different countries, different cultures, he played in different uh, ways. So the players are open, they, yeah, we, they, they know it, it's just uh, to, uh, to adapt it and, and to give them some triggers uh, where they have to take care, what they have to do, but uh, that's no problem. A slightly different one, this weekend I have had football, football's lawmakers a, a meeting uh, to have a discussion, we're expected to find more details out about blue cards potentially being introduced into football. Just wonder what your views are on potential blue cards be coming into the game. I conceded one when I was nine, I think. Um, so we had this in Austria in the youth, but I don't have many informations about the blue card at the moment. Too many questions, for example, if there is a, I use a, a, a mass confrontation in the games and um, sometimes it's yellow, 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 yellow. So then we continue playing eight against eight. Or, so I don't know what the rules will be. And, uh, but I hope they will tell it uh, before it's, uh, uh, we can see the first blue card on the pitch. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Rachel from PA. Oliver. Just taking you back to that trip to Tottenham a few weeks ago against Wolves, um, I think you also had a couple members of your coaching staff there with you. Can you just clarify who was actually in that group with you that day? Ah, yes, yeah, they, 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 they were with me and uh, yeah, we enjoyed the game. We, um, of course, uh, they were not here just for vacation um, and uh, yeah, it gave us maybe some more uh, information about Tottenham, but also the analysts, so they, they I prepared the game pretty well again, so yeah, I think we know it, but it's always on, on the screen in the post in the pre-match uh, sessions in, in the analysts. So we win every game, but <laughs> it's uh, important to show it uh, then on Saturday afternoon. You spoke a bit about how much your players are integrating into your system, but how about your staff as well? Obviously, you've had the benefit of Paddy McCarthy and Dean Kiley. How important have they been in that transition of bringing in that new team as well? Very important. So uh, the, all this is the same. Yeah, we all knew and uh, new team, new country, and uh, but they know most of the things that happen. So they are great guys. So first of all, they're great guys, uh, not just great coaches. So uh, so we have a, from the beginning, from the first day, we had a, a good mood in, in our in our coaching staff and. Um, yeah, very important information about also what happened before, about the players, um, and also this not to give too much input at, at, uh, at from the beginning. So uh, we discuss it every day, and I'm very pleased that they uh, are part of our coaching staff. Okay, that's the end of the broadcast section. Matt, do you want to?